What's up guys, welcome to new Unreal Engine 5 tutorial. Today we are continuing with the RPE series and in this episode we'll make the Animal AI. It's gonna be very easy to follow so let's get started. But first, check out my new Unreal Engine 5 course with Game Dev TV on how to make a full stealth assassin game with blueprints. You will learn how to make a whole bunch of different mechanics that will turn you into a pro Unreal game developer. This course will supply you with all the resources and assets that you will need. So you can check it out right now through the link in the description. Alright, so the first thing that I have to do is import the animal asset pack. In this case, it will be a free one from the Unreal Marketplace. It's called the African Animals Pack. It's great, it's exactly what we want. It will contain some cool animals that we can use with its animation. So let's go ahead and just add it into your library and now open up your Epic Games Launcher. You search it, add to project. Now you search for the RP series select it and say add to project and now we just have to wait maybe a minute or two until it imports the asset bag it isn't huge so it won't take a lot so just wait all right as you can see now it says add to project once again that means that it has successfully installed the asset bag into our project so now we can just close the epic games launcher and we go into our unreal project and you can see that we have a new folder called african Anim animals pack which is exactly what we need all right, so now let's go ahead and set up the AI. So if we enter into this folder, you can see that we have a lot of different other folders with the other, let's say, um, animals. So for this um, episode, we are going to be using the hippo, okay? And let's create its AI. Now we'll be creating a universal AI that we can use for different animals, so that will be great. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and set up the blueprint. So let's go into content, go into our blueprints folder, right click, blueprint class, and this will be a character type. And let's go ahead and call this BP underscore animal. Okay, with that said, we can go ahead and open this blueprint up, and this will be universal. So we'll set up the basic logic in here. So later on, we can go ahead and put whatever animals we want as a child. So what we need to do is go up into event graph, delete everything except the gameplay and right click and create a new custom event. So we're gonna make that this animal by default will be wandering around. So for that, let's create a new custom event called something as just wander around. And basically when we call this event, we will just go ahead and use the AI move to node, which is this one. And we can just move the AI. So the pawn will be self because it's, you know, its own uh, pawn. And then the destination, well, we can get a random point in a reachable point in uh, our, you know, radius, right? There's a lot of points, but we're gonna use the second one. The origin will be, well, the get actor location, where right now it is. And we are going to search a radius of around 5,000 around our point, right? And we'll do so. And then we'll go ahead and go into that part and on success, we'll basically just go ahead and make a small delay. So destroy now as a small delay. So he will just be waiting around three seconds on idle. And then we'll go ahead and, you know, go once again, the wander around. And this will mean that it will basically make a loop. And with that said, we can just go ahead and call in the begin play, the uh, wander around. So we will initialize it at the start. And this will be a loop because once it has reached the destination, it will wait three seconds and then call again one around, which will repeat it and find another destination and walk into that destination. Okay. With that said, let's change a bit the uh, walk, walk movement. So let's go to max walk speed and let's put like around 450. So we'll be a bit slow by default. Okay. More like walking instead of running. And with that said, let's go down and make sure that orient rotation to movement is enabled. Uh, so it will you know basically look at the direction that it is moving and let's go into the class defaults search for yaw and disable that because we don't want that movement through the yaw because it will be very um clunky so with that said we can just compile save and we're ready to go now let's apply a mesh to just view this in this case we can just put our hippo um but of course um this is the parent class so it'll be different for each animal so let's put this in position minus 89 and minus 90 there we go 
And with that said, we can use compile and save. Of course, we will not have an animation blueprint right now. We'll do that in a second. But if we now drag our animal AI, and of course, we need to make sure that we have our nav mesh in our level. We, you know, we should have from our AI and we press play, you can see that he will be going into a random point, wait three seconds and then pick another random point and go wait another three seconds, pick another random point. You get the idea, right? Now, right now looks very bad, of course, because, well, it doesn't have the animations going a bit too fast and so on. But don't worry, we'll tune that in in a second. So first of all, let's create the animation blueprint for the hippo. So let's go into this folder. Let's go into animations. And as you can see, we have a whole bunch of different animations. So let's create its blend, base, uh, blend space sorry, from idle to walk. So let's right click, go into animation, go into um, legacy blend space 1D. Let's select the hippo skeleton. And this will just be our hippo blend space. So now let's open this blend space and we have to put the name, which will be the speed. And the max walk speed will be something as I think 300 will be a bit better because I saw that 450 was going a bit too fast. So now we can just go ahead and find the idle animation. Now there's three variants. We can just look at them as you can see, like idle, idle chewing, and idle look around. I think the last one, idle look around, will be good. So let's go ahead and open and back again our blend space. Idle, the last one, drag it into the left. And now we need a sort of walk, all right? Which we have a whole bunch of them. We have this walk, we have walk with root motion. We don't want that to the left, to the right, uh, turn. No, we just want the walk. Now we hold control and move along our time. You can see as the speed increases, we'll go into a walk. All right, so now we can close that and just right click, animation, create the animation blueprint for this hippo. So let's go ahead and just select here, hippo. Um, and now you say create, let's call this ABP underscore hippo, open this up, and it's gonna be very simple, basically, we're gonna have the blend space, and then just a, um, you know, the, the output result. Now, we're gonna have one thing in between, which is default pose, um, so we can basically play animation montages. But first of all, let's drag in our blend space, at the default slot, and drag it in. And of course, this speed has to be a variable, so let's right click. You probably already know because we have done this a lot of times through the um, player at the beginning of the series. And now in the bank graph, we can just simply get the velocity of the owner. And this because we need, we need a vector uh, into a um, float, we can use the vector length node and you set the speed. And with that said, that will be the speed. If I compile, save and close this and assign, Hippo here, you can see that now exactly he will be using the animations and he still moves a bit too fast. So let's change the speed to what we said in the animation, which was like 300. And now that should be a bit better as you can see. There we go. Yeah, that's way better. Okay, cool stuff. So that's working. So now that, you know, we have that said, if we go into the blueprints, what I would do is create a new subfolder, which will be animals, right? Because we'll have a whole bunch of them. In this case, we are only going to be doing one more, okay, for this tutorial. Um, so let's just right click, create a child, and this will be BP animal underscore hippo, okay? Because as I mentioned before, this is the parent class. This will be actually the hippo that we will use hippo. Uh, now we're gonna do the same is right click on the animal create the child and for example this will be the elephant right and now what we will do open up the elephant uh, select the mesh change to be an elephant it should be this one there we go oh it's huge and now we can just go into our you know elephant uh, folder animations and do exactly the same okay so i'm gonna propose you a little challenge here that is to do the animation blueprint for the elephant just as we did with the hippo okay by yourselves and just pause the video do it and then we'll get back to uh to the video all right so what we have to do is go to animation legacy blend space 1d and then just find the elephant and now we just call this you know elephant blend space it doesn't really matter i did not run the name correctly elephant there we go. 
open the uh, the elephant speed the maximum was 300 go ahead and get the idol there's different idols we have breathe chew look around and look around eat i think this one's pretty cool so let's put it at the left and now we need a walk and this will just be the first one now hold control you can see that it will increase uh the, the walking as the speed increases so now that we have that we just need to create the animation blueprint with the elephant abp underscore elephant there we go it's exactly the same as we put the hippo extract this here at the default so we can later add like add like um attack animations right and i just create this into a variable go to the bank graph just get the velocity from the owner and then because we need it as a float we can use the vector length if i know how to type vector length node and i just drag in the speed set it in the update to be exactly this and with that said we can save everything close go back to the elephant add the elephant animation blueprint as you can see that will work so if i drag in in blueprints animals the elephant and the hippo you can see that now they will be walking around <laughs> this looks like a zoo and it, and it looks really cool right so let's go ahead and just add it in our main level so we can see you know how it looks with all its glory already in the desert right normally it will be like around the oasis so it makes sense that there are creatures living not just in the middle of the desert which they will just you know cannot die so let's load in the desert just uh, put them over here and that will look pretty cool so wait two seconds everything is loading there we go you can see our beautiful oasis and desert that we have been building through the last few episodes let's go into our um, blueprints folder animals and now we can just drag in for example over here the elephant and the hippo and of course we can eventually build a random generous spawner of animals but that will be more a bit later maybe we don't even need right we can just hand place them but you can see that now they're here but they don't move why well because we don't have an uh, nav mesh so let's quickly just add a nav mesh which is very important let's go into volumes nav mesh bounce volume let's add it around the area of our um you know oasis in this case our scale like around 250 you can see it's a big box okay if i press p we can see the area that they can walk around maybe even a bit bigger right let's go with 70 and with that said now we can hit save Control shift s right click play from here you can see that now indeed they will be walking and it looks very 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 cool now <laughs> okay they're going inside of the water we might need to control that but you know apart from that they look awesome as you can see really really cool I really like how they look maybe for the elephant and even for the hippo okay so let's go into the pant animal so every time they want to change an animal and uh, change all of its child so you can just need to go to the parent as you can see they will depend on the and there will be a child of the bp animal and we can just change the for example the character movement if i if if unreal doesn't uh, crash right there we go and I select uh, this go down we can change the, the rotation rate so they will basically turn a bit slower so instead of 360 we could put this at 250 and you'll see that both of them will basically turn a bit slower which will be a bit more realistic in this case okay uh, okay let's uh, look at the hippo because <laughs> our elephant will walk into the water but as you can see if they actually come on turn around Oh my god, he wants to, you know, walk across the whole desert, it seems like. Okay. Alright, and you chose to just keep going straight. That's so cool. Thank you, man. I'm trying to here showcase our change and you're just, you know, keep going forward. There we go. That's a bit better. And we can lower that value even more to achieve a better result. But I think that looks pretty okay. All right, so that's it, guys. If you found this tutorial helpful, I would really appreciate it if you could like the video and subscribe to my channel. Remember that the private files are available in my Patreon YouTube members, so check them out. Check out my latest course with Game TV, and also remember that we'll be making more animals as we go. These are the first two, but now that we have the parent and the workflow done, it's way easier to add new animals, right? 
With that said, uh, join my server, follow me on my socials, and now yes, with all that said, bye bye.